Greetings. I am Carl Sagan, and this is Ask Lovecraft. I come bearing good and bad news. The good news being that Howard is almost completely recovered. He should be back in the saddle come Monday. The bad news, as I'm sure many of you are already aware, is that the world lost a luminary, Professor Stephen Hawking. And I've had numerous requests to offer my own thoughts on his life, his work, his legacy, but much of what I would have said has already been said by countless others. Endless ink has been spilled over just what his work means. Instead, I want to talk about what he means to me personally. I had the opportunity to interact with Professor Hawking. We were both on a television program. I was being beamed in via satellite, and of course, he was able to speak through his speech device. And the whole experience was humbling. Here we were, the three of us, Arthur C. Clarke was also there, and we were having a conversation aided by technology which did not exist a few short years earlier. It just goes to show how much can change in so little time. And a great deal of change is due to the work of Professor Hawking. He was a visionary who managed to take the inaccessibly cosmic and make it accessible to billions of laypersons. I know many people, when they think of Professor Hawking, think of his very visible illness, but one thing I appreciated about him was that he did not ever allow that to define him. He was not a man to be pitied, but admired. And he was a man of great intellect and great humor. It takes a certain particular deviousness to host a party for time travelers and then send out the invitations after the party is already concluded. So, I am very grateful for the legacy that Professor Hawking has. Of course, the type of work he was involved with means that we will not know the full fruit of that work for centuries to come. It will be our children's 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 children who fully see and understand just what he was doing, if we do not squander the opportunity. And of course, I want to thank you as well. This has been a rather humbling experience hosting this program. As the passing of Professor Hawking shows us, the most precious possession we have is our time. And that you choose to take a few moments of that time every week and share it with Howard, P.H., the whole cast of colorful characters is awe-inspiring. And I look forward to being with you again. Until that time, however, I'm Garl Sagan. Be well.